everyone, this is Sai and I have Ranveer with me. We are from Hitachi MGRM Net. Today we are here to demonstrate Fidelia CLI, an end-to-end -end encryption utility. Specifically designed for uh, encrypting file data in the ABDM ecosystem. Its API surface includes a bunch of commands to generate key material and to subsequently use the generated key material to encrypt and decrypt messages. If you could scroll down, Ranveer. Yeah, thank you. Let's quickly go through the available commands here. That is generate key material, which is GKM for short. Uh, the generate key material command generates a public and private key pair. It also generates a public key in X509 format. And it also outputs a random nonce along with this uh, key material as a part of this key material. There's the encrypt command, which takes the parameters that you see on the screen. Uh, the first parameter being the string to encrypt and then the nonces, the sender nonce and the requested nonce. These nonces can be given in any order, but these nonces are followed by, and the order is important, a private key, send a private, send this private key in the uh, encrypt case, and then the request is public key. Uh, the scene encrypt command is exactly like in its behavior, almost exactly like the uh, encrypt command except it accepts the string that has to be encrypted in its base64 encoded format. This is available to circumvent the need to escape special characters and terminals. For instance, the double quotes that are found in JSON values. And there's a decrypt counterpart. It takes the parameters that you see on the screen, the encrypted data, the nonces, and then the request to private key, and then the sender pub. Then there's the file path flag, which can be used to provide the Fidelius command and the subsequent parameters from a text file. And this is specifically provided as a workaround for terminals which have a limitation on the total length of uh, the characters in the command. And it's almost commonplace for file data that we see in the ABDM ecosystem to uh, cross such limitations. What follows are examples on key material generation on how Fidelia CLI can be used. Fidelia CLI, GKM, you can see, and then the uh, encryption and decryption examples. And then also the use of the file path flag. Then there is also the examples folder, which can be looked at for ideas on integrating Fidelia CLI in your own tech stack. Right now we have examples on Node, Python, and PHP. And you're free to add your own by working this project. Uh, Fidelia CLI can be downloaded from the release section of this repository. The latest version is uh, version 1.2. Uh, now my colleague Ranveer will show you, uh, will demonstrate on how Fidelia CLI can be used as an HIP to encrypt and send fire data to uh, HIU. Over to you, Ranveer. Great, thanks, Sai. So, um, to start this demonstration, the first thing we're going to do is generate a new consent request from the HIU web interface. Um, so, I'm already logged in, so I'll go ahead and generate a new consent request. Uh, one thing to note is that for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm only rec uh, requesting the OP consultation record. And I'm going to go ahead and request uh, the consent. Uh, I have got a notification on the PHR app on my phone that an HIU is requesting my data. So I'm just going to go ahead and approve that request. Now that I've approved this request, we can see on the screen that the gateway has sent a notify call to the HRP, which has been automatically acknowledged uh, on the back end with a non-notify call by the HRP. After this, we can see that we've received the request call uh, with the transaction ID and the HIU key material. We can also see that in response to this API sequence, the HIP has sent the OP console data in file format to the HRP via the push HI data API call. 
So normally the HRP would inherently use the Fidelius CLI to encrypt this data and automatically send it to the data push URL that can be found in the request call. And this would be followed by an on notify, uh, a notify call that would be sent to the gateway to indicate that the data transfer has been completed successfully. However, in order to demonstrate the working of the Fidelia CLI for the purpose of this video, we will be doing these last two steps manually. As Sai mentioned, you can download the latest release of the Fidelia CLI from the GitHub repo over here. I already have it uh, downloaded on my system. As you can see, the Fidelia CLI 1.2.0 is present over here. So we can get started uh, with the process. So the first thing, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to generate the key material, which can be done using the GKM command. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. So as we can see, the, the key material has been generated. Now, uh, in order to use the CLI to encrypt the data, we need to pass uh, the Fidelia CLI the appropriate parameters along with the encrypt command. So we, we're gonna be using the file, uh, the file path command. So we need to save these parameters in a text file. So let's go ahead and create a text file. Uh, let's call it params.txt and uh, let's open it and we need to add the parameters over here so the first parameter is always going to be the command which in this case is encrypt you could use e for short um, this is followed by the data that needs to be encrypted which we will get from the uh, push hi data api that i shown you earlier so i'm going to go ahead and copy that data So if I copy this data onto a JSON viewer, we can, we can see that the data is in proper file format. And now we're gonna go ahead and paste this data in the, uh, in the, in the file as the second parameter. This has to be followed by the nonce, which we, uh, our nonce, which has been generated using the GKM command. So this has to be followed by the nonce that the HIU has sent in the request call. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it. Uh, one thing to note, as I had mentioned earlier, that the order of the nonces does not matter. We could have uh, put the nonces the other way around and would not have made a difference. But this has to be followed by uh, our private key, which uh, had been generated earlier. And then we need to add the public key that the, uh, the HIU had sent us in the request call. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy paste that right now. And uh, now we've added all the parameters. Uh, one thing to note is that this format of parameters stays consistent across all the all commands of similar nature in Fidelia CLI. So uh, which would include the encrypt and the decrypt uh, commands. So the first parameter would always be the command itself, which would be encrypt or decrypt, which would be followed by the data to encrypt um, or decrypt. Then it would be followed by a couple of nonces, uh, then a private key and then a public key. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and, uh, and close it. Um, and just to ensure that the parameters have been added. Uh, we can see that these parameters are present in the required format in the params.txt file. So now we're ready to go ahead and encrypt the data. So we will uh, use the file path followed by the name of the text file. And I will run that. And as we can see, the Fidelia CLI has encrypted the data and we can see the encrypted data over here. So now we will use Postman to send this encrypted data to the HIU. So uh, in uh, on Postman, if you go to the API, uh, the body of the API, um, we this uh, the the URL is the URL that the uh, the HIU has specified in the 
in the in the in the request call as we can see over here the data push url um, the first thing we need to do in the body is to copy paste the transaction id which we have received in the request call um, so i'm going to go ahead and do that then we need to copy paste the encrypted data which we've generated using the cli So I'm going to go ahead and place that in the content field. Uh, one thing to note, uh, to note is that uh, we knew the care context reference of the patient beforehand because uh, for this particular test patient, there is only one linked care context. But under normal circumstances, you would need to take, you would need to add the correct care context reference, which you get in the um, in the notify call. So as we can see over here, you would need to add this care context reference. Um, then we also need to add the, the key value in the X509 format, uh, which uh, we have got from the GKM command earlier over here. One thing to note here is that the, even though the public key that we receive on data request call is in the format that is above X509 public key, which is the, the prop just reads public key. But one peculiarity of uh, the HIU that we are sending the data to is it only accepts the X509 public key. So we have to send it in the X509 format. While that has been said, uh, the Fidelia CLI itself accepts public keys in any format, both for encrypt and decrypt calls. Uh, it would normally encrypt and decrypt whether you send the public key in the format that you see but the, it, it, the format that you see above X509, or if you send the X509, it doesn't uh, 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 function differently. But for this HIU, you would have to send it in the X509 format. Uh, you can go ahead, Ranveer. Right. So I'll just uh, copy this, uh, this public key in the X509 format and paste it in the body in the key value field. And then uh, additionally, we also need to send the, our nonce that uh, was generated. So I'm gonna copy paste that into the nonce field. Um, so with that, I think uh, we've added everything we needed to the body and I'm gonna hit send. Right, so we've got the 202 accepted. Uh, this uh, is gonna be followed by um, the notify uh, call, which, uh, which would be to indicate to the gateway that, uh, uh, to indicate to the gateway that the data has been transferred successfully. So uh, in the body of this API, we need to add the consent ID, which we get from the original or notify uh, in the original notify call. So I'm gonna go and do that. Um, and then we also need to add the transaction ID, uh, which we get from the request call. Um, just go and copy that. And then uh, when we hit send, uh, we'll get a 202 accepted and, uh, and the, the, the gateway will be notified of a successful data transfer. Uh, now we can go back to the HIU web interface and uh, as, we can, as we can see that uh, the data has been successfully transferred and is being correctly displayed over here. So um, with this, uh, we come, uh, this completes the demonstration. And as mentioned before, you can download the latest version of the uh, Fidelia CLI from here. Um, and as I mentioned, we've provided uh, some examples for your reference. Uh, so right now we have examples to integrate with Node.js, PHP, and Python. And please feel free to fork the repo and build on these examples or add more of your own. And if you face any issues, please add them over here. And please start the repo if you find it useful. Um, thank you. Thank you.